Uh, I think uh, we've had a lot of water and so farmers must be happy. Uh, <laughs> Mel Jones, Silver Spring Farm Garlic Project Chair is here. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Natalia De Sevigny is here as well. Good morning to you. Good morning. Okay, tell me about Silver Spring, Mel. Well, Silver Springs Farm is is actually it's a, a location out, just outside of Bell's Corners, mm -hmm. uh, which is owned by the NCC, but it is actually leased uh, for a dollar to the Ottawa Carlton Association for Persons with Developmental Disabilities, and they lease it uh, to them and. They were looking for ways to raise money, and one of the people involved with it, one of the volunteers, thought about garlic 17 years ago. Yeah. So they decided to have, we had the land there, it was basically free, so they started uh, the project. In fact, Natalia here was, was the first one to phone them up and say we were, they were looking for something to do uh, for a, a church group of girls, mm -hmm. and that's a volunteer work, so they thought they'd start the garlic. How nice is that? It was nice. Found out very quickly that Two acres of garlic is a lot of work for a half a dozen girls. Yeah, I bet it is. <laughs> uh, so, uh, tell me about garlic. I mean, it, it, it seems yeah. to gain more and more fame, Natalia. Well, it is, and we hope that it's becoming more and more famous in Ottawa. We have a large uh, selection of recipes here for you. Mm -hmm. uh, but I want to tell you, first of all, what's in season right now okay. are garlic scapes. So that's these, what I'm looking at right here, right? Uh-huh. So what is this? That's basically the flower of the garlic. Okay. And uh, for the most part, it's an unknown uh, entity. Uh, Europe knows about it. It's quite well known in Europe, quite okay. well known in Korea. And These used to be thrown out, I understand. Exactly, and exactly. And it's becoming now the trend in Ottawa. What would Let's, you use it in? It's, uh, it's perfect for stir fries. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Uh, you can make a wonderful pesto with it. Well, and, for a stir fry, would I just chop this like a yeah, green you, onion? You or chop it. You don't a use chop? the flour, so ch cut it just above the flour. Okay, and then, pop, pop, pop. And then cut them in whatever size pieces you want. Usually about two inch pieces are nice. And uh, does it give a garlic flavor? It has a very subtle garlic flavor. That's nice, a little touch instead, right? Uh -huh. What are we going to make today? Well, today I have a few items for you. So the first yeah. I'm going to start with was the uh, garlic scapes. What I do is uh, when you have a lot of them, like sometimes we do, I just chop it up very fine, put it in uh, ice cube trays, and they are wonderful to add to soups, stews, uh -huh. uh, pizzas, sandwiches. Ooh. They are absolutely delicious. Mel, you're always looking for volunteers, yeah. right? All uh, right. Yeah, we need a lot of volunteers. Mm -hmm. I say because we're growing two acres of garlic. We actually plant 40,000 bulbs, so you can uh, cloves of garlic when we uh, grow this. So need a lot of volunteers, especially at the planting, which actually happens in the fall. We plant in mid to late October. Yeah. Uh, big job is weeding. I guess and that's not always everybody's favorite job either is doing the weeding, but well, you we volunteer to volunteer. help out, right? Not to that's enjoy right. the work always, uh, but uh, you, yeah. you get to enjoy the the results. That's there's no right. question. Natalia, let's yeah. make this ba basil and oil dip, huh? Yes. Yeah, so what I've already gotten ready here is I've crushed the 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 basil. I've added some olive oil and I've also added some crushed garlic to it. So that's okay. already pre-made. Oh, very nice. And I'm going to make a bread dip, which instead of using butter, you can mm. have that as, a, as an appetizer. Mm -hmm. So I'll add that. I'll add some olive oil. Gotcha. And I will add some balsamic vinegar. Very good. Oh. And a little bit of red chili flakes. Whoa, I think to add I a little, <laughs> well, <laughs> people like spice, a little, a little bit of spice, you know? <laughs> and then you blend that together, mm -hmm. and you make a layer in a flat dish, uh, not, not more than a quarter inch gotcha. high. And people will be loving this at your party, right? Uh, yep, yeah, I tried it the other day and tested it on my uh, guinea pig family members, and they devoured it. I'll be your guinea pig. Can I go for it? Please. That's delicious. Is that made with scapes, or is that made no, with garlic? No, that's made garlic? with garlic. Okay. That's made with garlic. August is about the time that uh, usually garlic comes out, and fresh garlic's where it's at. Where can people uh, find uh, Silver Spring garlic and the scapes right now? Okay, the scapes right now are just, in fact, these are from an early test plot that mm -hmm. are growing. Uh, we're probably about another week and a half away from the main field going into the scapes. Uh, we will pick them. They will actually be on on sale right at the farm okay. uh, on uh, Robertson Road. Uh, they're kind of almost across from the Queensway Carlton Hospital. Yeah. So they'll be on sale. Okay. The garlic will be harvested approximately three weeks after we pick the scapes. Okay. Two weeks to dry up and then to clean them and then they go on sale again at the farm. Nothing better than getting them right away too, right when they're yeah. ready, huh? That's all the volunteers there at uh, Silver Spring Farm. Very cool. Stuff. We have hundreds of volunteers literally involved. We have companies involved. 
Mm -hmm. uh, we have individual schools involved. Uh, we do have the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints is the biggest contributor, but it's becoming more and more a community project yeah. than, than just a one uh, organization project. I like the whole idea. That's fantastic, and uh, we thank you very much for coming in.